Okay, so it takes <laughs> it took secrets again, and I oh my god, I can't believe it happened again. Okay, so if you watched the previous video, you know that I messed up uh, at, the, at the extravaganza event, uh, playing against Brandon and his ex and his Attic Nisters deck. There was a card that I was completely aware of, like oh, it has an effect where you can um, negate a phase card if you control like a level six or uh, like if you control a rival, basically. And then I was like, okay, I know I'm not gonna fall into the same trap again. So okay, so there was five runs of Swiss. Uh, my matchups were Tri Brigade, Dino, Drytron, Drytron, and what was the last one? And then top eight was uh, Sky Striker versus Mike. And then top four, I meet, I meet Brandon again in top four. He's playing his Ad Ignitors once again. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I know, I know what to do against this guy. I know exactly what to do. So then I, I went in there. I go first. I do. Um, he he I uh, he. I think he ashes me somewhere, and then he nibs me, uh, or I think he just nibs me. I can't remember. And then I, but I still full combo because I didn't use my normal summon. I, I start off with the uh, the chaos ruler play, mill, excavate, uh, uh, start on synchro and doppel, and I do the 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 the, the speeder play before like um, the normal summon. So it was it was insane. So I end up on full board, uh, abyss, crystal wing, dragster, herald, uh, banish omega. And like a bunch of cards in hand. So I pass. And then he top decks into droplets. I was like, oh my god, he's serious. So then he he he, he negates my three. Um can't remember, but yeah, I think he negates, yeah, he negates my three. Because he goes battle phase, attacks my herald because like he can't drop this because he has a bunch of monsters in hand. Cause you can't, you know? So then um he goes attacks my herald, um, then main phase two, droplets my three, and then builds his board, and then sets up the Pegasus and the the, the card lost to. Uh and then uh, he passes and having Omega coming back. And I'm like, okay, we're at the same, we're at this moment where I lost uh, last weekend. So then I'm like, okay, I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> and I fuck up. I fuck up again. I was like, oh my god, are you kidding? So then I, I go, I go her, um, uh, start a synchro effect. I was going to uh, tribute the Omega. Omega might have shuffled the, the, the Pegasus, but I shuffled the damn other Ignister if neg negate the face up effect. And I was like, wait, after I did it, I was like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> I fucked up again. So I was like, I'm at fault. Like, no way, dude. Like, it was insane. Because, like, the play was uh, shuffle the Pegasus, um, leaving Fossil the, the the Herald, because he can't negate the Herald. It's already negated. You can't, you know, can activate something that, that won't do anything. So then um, he can't preemptively, preemptively go, like, okay, negate the Herald. You know, the, the, that was the play. So then I was meant to revive the Herald with the Living Fossil, and then go Silent Warrior, pop, 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 pop. And run over his guy and let there be that that basically be it. And I was like, oh my god, but I didn't do that. Oh my god. Anyways, that was uh was, but still good. Tough four. The deck did what it did. Um it did didn't surprise me. It did exactly what I expected it to do. Um same ratios, uh triple star synchron, triple junk synchron. I would not play any any less. Um it just comes up. The fact that you can mill these guys off ruler. And if you mill this guy up, uh, if you mill Doppel with any of these guys, it's insane. It just sets up your play. Like you just you want the, to hire that chance of that happening. And then of course you have your, your ruler play, like your initial, like that starts off your play. Basically, this is like your primary um, play. It can be secondary, but most likely often than not, you're gonna have it up be, be a primary play. Uh, this with teleport one for one gets you Chaos Ruler. Same thing with this. Uh, I can make your Omega, vice versa, whichever one you want to open. And the fact that this this can be any other, it can be a level six, a level seven, a level eight, um, is is um quite cool. Like really, really good. Um, yeah. And then you have your non tuners which is Caligo, of course. Uh, Caligo is important because uh, its purpose is mainly for when you when you mill these off of a uh, Chaos Ruler, these guys, right? You go, you 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 have access to these guys most likely. So you're gonna to want to go summon effect, revive these. If you revive, if you revive him, you have the Excel play to do the Herald before you speeder play. If you revive him, if they better you, then um, if, if they better the speeder, then you have a crystal wing regardless. But if it, if if they don't want to be in that situation, they just value this, right? Because then if when that happens, you can go special this, make speeder anyway. So it, it punishes them for doing the right play, but it, that's what I mean. It, it makes it really obscure. And then of course you have your one ofs like you just have to play them like you can't go there's no ifs or buts around it you just have to I drew this card so many freaking times dude so many freaking times it was annoying I was like my god like I don't want to draw you man like it was so bad like it ah it was so annoying like what the heck yeah assault mode starts trail fire ant cyber synchro uh still not missing carrier carrier I think the deck's fine without carrier 
And then of course you have your hand traps. Um, you can argue that you don't have to play this um, because it's just like, you know, you'd be fine with this because it's light that you can add off of a chaos order. But the dynamic that you can do with uh with the, the with uh with any matchup is is out playing your opponent like ashing at the wrong time when they least expect it it can throw them off you know it can throw them off like and be like oh what the heck when you ash when you veil or something that could be ashed they're like oh they don't have ash and then you ash another card is like oh what the heck like it, it makes it really weird and that little uh, the little outplay um sequence is, is quite cool. Um, and the fact that you can revive these on Living Fossil and do your XL play without having to normal summon is uh, insane. Like, it's really, really good. Uh, then, of course, you have your spells. Uh, tuning. Tuning is just consistency. It gets you... Like, the fact... The amount of times I go tuning and mill a level 2 is insane. Uh, sneaker Overtake. Perfect. This card's a perfect... This card's perfect. This card's, this card's perfect. It's exactly what they needed. Special, normal. The the level 2 is, is, is crazy. And, like, if you go... A lot of times what happens is... You can go overtake um, special junk and then special Caligo and then go speeder. If they do anything there, okay, that's fine. Summon junk, <laughs> bring back the Caligo, um, and then uh, make your um, your your double play live. And it's like it's just really good. And then living fossil is the same purpose as Caligo. Like most of the time, they want to stop the junk summon, and um, then you okay, it's fine. Bring back the target you run to bring back, and then go speeder or. It gives you a secondary play where you can go like uh, like this. Like you can go. Um, let's say you go this. Let's let's say the, this this happens because this this does happen. You go uh, summon special. You go speed it right, and then uh, if the evader imperm ash whatever, then that's fine. Uh, then you go okay. Let's try it again. Uh, bring back this. Make chaos ruler, and then chaos ruler gives you a secondary um, play where you can potentially mill this and uh, and this, and then you you just do your do your excel play, which is um which is huge. That's why living falls is amazing. And bringing back Herald is uh, is quite important as well. Because in the grind game, because there are times where you get in these weird grind games. And you can go, okay, uh, bring back uh, Herald, you know. And just have, it becomes a negate, basically. And then, of course, you have your teleport and your one for one um, The good thing about these is that since you ha since you play the hand trap route, uh, you can deplete your hand. And you can have the, the, the chances of drawing into like a one or two card combo to capitalize. Um after you've hindered your opponent, like let's say you top deck this, after you like double veilered and ash impermed, then you can go like okay, top deck this, uh, go into the care filter. Care filter filters it, it could potentially mill your doppel this, 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 and just it, it'll just get you back in the game. It just it's just a consistency card basically, and that's why you can get away with uh, playing that many hand traps because you have these cards. Because like I need just two cards to 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 combo off, which is uh really nice. Um, your one ofs. Of course, oh, the one is over here. Quite crucial one of Rhoda, Elimination, Monster Born, one for one. Like, they're just perfect. It's just pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is basically to deal with Appaloosa. Because um, if you like, if you go against Tri Brigade and you only only open up one, don't bother. Don't just don't bother using it. Just let them get that Palooza, Let them get that revolt. Just save this for that Palooza for your turn. Because a lot of times what happens is. They're gonna go uh, when you go um, into uh, the Dawnwalker. They're gonna go Appaloosa. You just chain this and negate the Imperm. And you can play around one revolt. One revolt's fine. Like if they open up Strike Revolt and like Imperm, like, okay, fair enough. Like what you know, what's gonna play through that? Like just it's it's, it's already an uphill battle as it is. Um, then of course you have your your side deck. Uh, three Chaos Ruler, uh, three Twin Twister, uh, Duster Reboot. This is when you go second. And then of course you have your when you go first you have your 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 imperial order triple judgment triple strike, um, yeah this is very simplistic. The moment you go first it's like, and, you, and if it resolves, if your combo resolves and you go first and you draw into this it's insane because there's some there's a lot of times where I would like I would not open that's great, and I would just like set solemn set this set this. I opened this quite a, in the last uh, few rounds when it was crucial. I opened this one. I was like, "Oh wow!" I, I guess it was like a, like the karma where I op opened up the fire ant, so it just switched the one ups. Like, like, okay, I guess I guess I'm getting like rewarded for opening the, the damn fire ant so much. And then um, because there was times where like I would I wouldn't go for the cash ruler play because I was playing around Nibiru, so I would just go I'll, I'll have like this and like this and like an ash or something or like a like imperm, and I'll just make an omega and I'll just control with omega omega banish set set, and then the following turn um do the push because I can. You know, like if I didn't use my strike, I can stop the nib, stop an ash, type of thing. Um, but yeah, that was that was 
That was pretty cool. And a lot of you don't know, uh, been asking me about how to side deck. Well, it, it varies from, from, from matchup to matchup, right? Because, like, sometimes you prefer strike over this. Um, but then the, the one thing you could do is you can side out these cards. Because like, the more interactions you, you have, the better it is for you. Because the deck, you have so many three ofs that you can already open them, you know? So that consistency is there. But it's just that you want that extra interactive um, um, dynamic versus that matchup. So you would rather have like this, like take, like take take out the search card, right? Oh, there's times where like Ash is not really that impactful. So you, you take out the Ashes and put in the strikes instead or like vice versa type of thing, you know? Um, but the ones that mainly get cut, like it's, it, the one that gets cut for sure. This one, and that's basic. this is basically all I touch. Anything, anything else? Oh, I forgot this. This is what I touch whenever I side. Any, any variation of this. And then the hand traps based on the matchups. Yeah, that's basically based on the matchups. This this is basically all you all you mess around with. Everything else you leave intact. You, you leave it to everything as it is. But all this you can you can see how you, how it goes. But I mean that's what I've been doing. It, it's broken pretty good. And then you have the extra deck. I think I think the extra deck is perfect. Like everything in it worked. Wow, it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, Silent Warrior, Hot, Hot Red Dragon, Archer in Abyss. Uh, thank you, Nick. Um, Cash Ruler. Uh, Crystal Wing, Omega, Dragster, Sardis Charge. This card always comes up. Uh, Librarian, Junk Warrior. <clears throat> I don't know, man, man. <laughs> if I played Destroy yesterday, I would have lost. <laughs> this card saved me. <laughs> oh, my God. And um, uh, Junk Speeder, uh, Excel, Christian Quandax. Thank you, Bon. Um, Herald, Metal Marcher, and Shaman. So, like, yeah. Like, the deck worked perfectly. It was fine. Um, one thing that you could argue is... um. Uh, getting this, getting the deck closer to forty, um, but like, like I said, I like the variance that this had, that this gives. Like, like if you, like if you cut the ashes, um, the dynamic of having like this in this and in, in this is just not there. You you'll be stuck with this. So it's like I don't I don't know, like I don't, I don't mind it. Like of course like if you want to like like uh get like, closer to forty to uh, to to I guess get to particular um statistic but like i don't know it, it just seems like you can get away with it with this with this particular deck because like you have so many so many ways to like start your plays so you need that filter because if you draw too many of these like if you draw like too many too many of this uh too many of uh, these guys too many too many of this like you, you can draw too many like it, it's just it, like these cards alone need to be filtered otherwise like you could you, like like this and this can't really push past an established board so you want to be able to hinder them enough to where this can push through you know and that's the thing with this particular deck you can't like minimize it to four like you can't cut this you can't cut this you can't cut this you can't like you you can't you just want you want that variance to be uh an obscure um i guess turn for your opponent to anticipate like, you, it, like they don't know what you're doing because there are times where like carousel is a choke point and there's time where carousel is just like the bait so that's like the you know what you want to keep your opponent guessing and that's what that's what what this deck does like the best because you they they think that it'll stop you but then it won't but then you're like oh my god if he does it here I lose but then they just don't and oh my god then you then you just then then you just resolve your, your carousel ruler and then it makes it really awkward because it makes any other and any other hand trap at that point to be really mediocre um but yeah like I don't know like it just just yeah I mean you you could try to trim it down to forty but like. I mean, I don't mind. I'm not too fussed about it because I know, like, I just, the, I understand the variance of it. And, um, it just, yeah. Just try it. <laughs> just try it. It, it, it. it works. It works. Um, but, anyways, um, that's gonna be it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. <laughs> like, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching.